Should you buy a Gen 5 NVMe? Well, maybe. Gen 5 drives are the current and newest generation of NVMEs for your PC. To run this bad boy, you're gonna have to have a motherboard that has a Gen 5 NVMe slot in it. Otherwise, it's just gonna default to Gen 4 speeds. Speed-wise, they all did reach 14,000 megabytes per second, so they do what they advertise that they can. Between them, the Lexar reads slightly slower than the WD and the Samsung, but it writes faster, at least with sequential data. In addition, the WD seemed to do the best with the smaller pieces of data, smaller tasks like loading a program. All in all though, the differences between them are incredibly marginal, and they all very much so impress. One thing we learned, you absolutely cannot run a Gen 5 drive without a heatsink, no ma'am. Looking at that giant number difference, it really makes you think, oh my gosh, my games must run so much faster on the Gen 5 drive. Well, load times might be better on the Gen 5 drive, but when you're playing your video game, you're likely not gonna notice any difference between your Gen 4 drive and your Gen 5 if you're playing the same game. Where you're gonna notice that difference between Gen 4 and Gen 5 is with something like uh, streaming and recording at the same time. Anytime you're dealing with large bits of data, sequential data, that's where that incredibly fast read and write speed come in handy. If you're someone who works with a lot of media in that regard, the Gen 5 is a perfect drive for you. Overall, a Gen 5 drive is only needed by people who work with media or play Escape from Tarkov. What is wrong with that game?